Well, it's been a little while since I did a how-to video. So today I'm taking this truck, computer, fuse block harness and everything and turning it into a Camaro harness. Just got a couple wires to move around and I can use the reverse lockout for the T56 six speed. And I also do a segment swap uh, so I can run 4.8 with the six speed. Uh, but you could do that for pretty much anything like a 5.3 with a five speed or even a 5.3 with a barf 4L ADE. Any of that stuff will work. These diagrams here are from lt1swap.com. You've got a ton of information there. Um, this is a 9902 truck harness, which is key so that you can use the same operating system as a 2002 Camaro. All these yellow ones that you see here are ones that you don't need for an LS swap. So you could steal one of those wires and use them for the reverse lockout. Uh, I'm just going to add some extra because I've got a bunch of extra stuff laying around. So I took a good look at the difference between a truck harness and a Camaro harness. And the reverse lockout solenoid needs to go there in pin 44. 5 volt reference for the uh, TPS has to move from 46 to 8. And there's a clutch switch. And the ground for the coolant temp has to go from 63 to 80. And when I went through and looked at all these, some of these don't match up perfectly. But the ones that don't match up perfectly are like a 5 volt reference for a couple different circuits or whatever. And as long as it's a 5 volt reference, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to screw around moving pins. So it looks like there are two pins to move and two pins to add. So this should be pretty easy. It's been a while since I took one of these apart when I made my LS Droid bench harness. Um, but as I recall, it's pretty easy. There's a little tab in here. Push that in. Same thing on this side, right? Tab in there to push in. That comes off. And this uh, light green is the color of the reverse lockout solenoid uh, ground, which is what we're going to add. So that's the one that I'm looking for. Got to remember what the locking tab is that holds them in. We can pull it out forward. That's an easy way. But if you're going to reuse one, you probably wouldn't want to do that. How did these come out? So that's pretty easy. Pull the tab up a little bit and then pull the wire up a little. I want to put these back together. Just look at the orientation here. So you want those little fangs down. And stick her on there. Clicks in place. And it's good to go. So first thing to do is actually unhook the harness from the PCM itself. Okay, so we got our red connector and blue connector. Okay, now to get our connectors apart, just kind of jab a screwdriver in there. Get that to release. Last one. Okay. <clears throat> now we have access to the wires themselves. So this is going to be our throttle position sensor 5 volt reference. And we're going to take that from 46 and move it to 8. That's fine. 46. You can see they're all numbered here. 4, 45, 46. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, I've also got to pop these off. Keep that, put it back in later. There we go. That should be pin 46. And this needs to go to 8. Which is right here. Easy enough to move to. Okay, so 8 has a little weather plug in there. I'm going to take this and jam it in there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's my screwdriver coming through at eight. So, 
Hopefully that wire will jam right in there now. No problem, all right. So they are a bit stubborn, real stubborn coming through there, but I'm going to get the little bastard. That's a lot easier. A little more of a direct shot. I was kind of dropping over a wire and fighting it before. There, I heard the click. So now we have that pin in position eight. Very happy with that. So now we have to take 63 and move it to 80. This one right here. Okay, so I just sort of pulled that back and pushed on it a little bit. So now that should come right out. There we go. There's our 63, which needs to go to 80. So that one needs to come out. Do the same thing. Bring this back. Sort of push that through. See it's unlocked. And the orange should pull out. Beautiful. And now this one. Got to go right in its place. Oh, that was a lot easier second time around. That one's good. This orange was a fuel level sensor ground. So I do not need that at all. Okay, so 44 here is where I need to put my reverse lockout ground, which is this green wire here that we're going to add in and then run to the reverse lockout solenoid in the 6-speed. And 44 has nothing in it. So I'm going to run my all through here like I did the other one. Stab this thing in there. Should work. And there we go. Piece of cake. So here is going to be my reverse lockout. Get back together. We're back in business. So now with this harness set up, I can flash a Camaro tune in this PCM and run it through this fuse block and everything. Now that is all great if I was running like a 5.7 with a T56, I could just flash Camaro tune and be good to go. Uh, but I'm running a 4.8 in the Beretta. And there's no such thing as a 4.8 tune with the T56 reverse lockout and all that stuff. So I've got to do a segment swap in LS Droid. Okay, so here we are opening up LS Droid to do our segment swap. Here is the segment swap. Primary file. So this is the 2002 Trans Am file that I found online. 2156 OS, which is the same OS that I already used before. So file for segment uh, for the 5-speed Beretta. So it's loading both of these files, making sure they're the same OS. And then, so this is, this is what we're going to swap or not. So engine diagnostics we're going to swap. Transcal, we want to keep all that stuff. Uh, fuel system, I guess we will swap. And <laughs> that should be it. Okay. Save file as. We'll call this uh, Beretta T56. And that's it. And this file should be good to go, as is. But I'm going to open it up in Tuner Pro, make sure everything is good. Uh, and then I can flash it using my Bluetooth dongle. And I'll put a link in the description to that video. Um, lots of information on there. Free tuning for LS swaps. Pretty good stuff. So now this truck harness is ready to go in the Beretta. Uh, I've got to run these wires to the actual uh, ignition switch itself. Uh, this wire here going to go to the fuel pump and I've got a couple things like I have to wire in this uh, three wire coolant temp sensor uh, in place of the two wire that the truck had 
Uh, so I have a uh, coolant temp gauge that'll work with a Beretta. But basically this is ready to go and get married with the car harness itself now.